Hey, what's up everybody around the world? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to share with you how to model a steel desk lab in Revit. In this tutorial, I will be using our previous profile from my previous tutorial, Roots Mental Steel Cladding, for make our desk lab profile. After that, only we apply our reinforcement in our project. Okay, as you can see on my screen here and your screen here is a photo reference on desk lab reinforcement before we jumping into our project and before i get things start i would like to ask you and this is your first time reaching out to my channel or visiting to my channel and you want to learn more about it make sure hit subscribe button below and click the bell icon for turn on for all notifications if you don't want to miss my future tutorial now it's pretty much for introduction Let's switch into our project together. We will quick overview our project also before we model it. Okay, so here we are in Revit structure template is our project overview. Let's me close our end scale first. As you can see here, here is our project overview. Before we jump into our project, we will create our desk lab here and create our profile here as well. As you can see here, let me slowly show you first here. As you can see here and here we got another screw on top as well for our project as you can see here here is our desk lab profile okay so now i think it's pretty much let's jump in and create our project together first thing i'm going to close my level 2 first and i will keep this one reminding for keeping review Control and on my keyboard for shortcut key and for the project I prefer using our structural template just hit OK Once I done that, Revit will be transformed to another peg Okay, so here we are in level 2 is a structural template I'm going to our architecture tab Then go to our rules Rules by footprint And change from basic rule to slab glazy Using rectangle just draw a simple rectangle like this and I will just want it make it 12 meter by 12 meter hit escape a couple time then it's okay go to my 3d over there hit escape as you can see here because we are working on structural template that's why we couldn't see our rules here so how to solve that we need to adjustment on our visibility graphic which is for shortcut key then I'm going to turn all just like all like this then turn all apply then it's okay as you can see here and for our level i'm going to hide as well okay as you can see here now it's time to open our previous profile go to our file then i'm going to finding for to do to the mental seal sorry you can finding and draw it from my previous tutorial i will put link in my description as you can see here is a parametric also let's testing it out let's say it i want to make it for 200 let's apply as you can see here it's a parametric as so if you want to create that you can check that link in description on my previous tutorial then i'm going to load into our project just load and close project 3 it's okay okay as you can see here then i'm going to our 3d again select my rules here go to edit type then i'm going to make it for grade one just make it for this then and make it for 300 millimeter same as our profile here apply then it's okay then i'm going to our architecture tab go to our mullion then go to edit type duplicate make it for mental sorry that's still like this then we need to change our profile also change from mullion rectangle to our 2d mental steel profile just hit ok then i will apply all grid here just apply like this don't worry about that just delete element then change it to consistent color hit escape as you can see here and for those overlapping here you just select here then right click on your closer select mullion on grill then you can delete it or de for shortcut key again here we right click is the same story if you follow along from my previous tutorial you can skip a couple of minutes okay as you can see here then i'm going to adjustment also because it's too big in the type i think we just make it for 2.4 hit a sketch then here i'm going to make it for 
2.4 as well hit escape just hit finish as you can see here is a parametric so what i'm going to do next i'm going to our architecture tab model in place then i will using for structure because in our default family we didn't have for structural slab so i'm going to using for structural formation in this kind of situation that's okay then start from front view here go to extrusion set a plan we need to set a work plan first before we start create our slab here like this then i can pick here just take away you see a pick line we will pick all of them okay so after we done pick all we just hit a get a couple time then i'm going to select all of them basically our slab i'm going to estimate about 120 it depends on design so i'm going to make it 420 hit escape then we just connect its other use line again connect from here to here hit escape then i'm going to connect another side as well just make like this hit escape a couple of time then i'm going to our material here we need to assign for material as well just make it for finding for i think we finding for concrete then i will just straight away scroll down finding for concrete cast in place here like this as you can see here is apply then i'm going to change it to realistic as you can see here then of course here we need to extend also make it for minus three meter supply okay perfect i think as you can see here then i can finish it's time to apply our reinforcement select our slab here go to rebar type it's okay because we are using for structural template we didn't need to load our rebar side rebar shape it's okay then we start from hit a sketch first let me start from front view first then we need to set a work plan first pick a plan again pick for surface okay then we can draw it i will just using for 13 db start from here simply start like this hit a sketch then i can finish as you can see here we just got a thick line let me adjustment our rebar first i'm going to make it for number with spacing and make it for 30 i think okay it's perfectly for me i think make it for 32 mm, 34 okay 34 is perfect then i'm going to select our reinforcement in order to make it for a solid scroll it down on our property panel as you can see here is our graphic just in the type here then you can make it actual red so solid turn on for three of them four of them sorry then i will change it to fine again as you can see here we got our realistic reinforcement already it's time to apply another side start from right side select our slab again rebar click rebar select our slab set a plan pick a plan pick for surface here then use our line it's time to draw it again i think i'm going to draw it like this from here until here hit a sketch this one is our still is going out already hit a sketch then i'm going to hit finish just make it the same hit a sketch here i can move it down okay move it up like this then i will change it to select as well okay perfect for me then change it to number with spacing and make it for 10 i think 30 or 25 okay 25 is perfect and here i'm going to adjustment just make it 33 okay perfectly now what we are missing is time to add our school to finish our section detail so first thing i'm going to edit our profile first just make it smaller edit here sorry select 
here then i'm going to edit in plus select again edit our extrusion then i'm going to delete it like this just simply delete then using our 2d line to connect it hit a sketch i think i'm going to delete more yep hit a sketch a couple of time then we can hit finish okay as you can see here then i can hit finish again go to my file again finding for construction angle friction phaser here then i'm going to load into project and close you can finding more screw is suitable into your project but here just a review i just using this one hit a sketch first go to my 3d here start from top view over there then i need to set a work plan first set a work plan pick a plan let me pick first i'm going to pick top here i think or pick bottom here okay then cm4 plus our screw work plan start from top uh, i'm going to press Maybe will press about here, around here. Hit a sketch. I think I'm going to delete this guy here. And just turn around. Okay, start from front view. We need to move it up. Um, we for move. I just take away mode up like this make sure you turn off for constraint start something like this okay this one is too already and here i'm going to move it down and we for move just move it more okay like this i think our reinforcement we need to move it down a bit Can we move it or not? Just try to move. Okay, actually can, but we need to turn on for our graphic again. Okay, as you can see here. Then I can select here, start from front. I'm going to move it up a bit. You might be need to take some time to play around with that until you got what you want for section detail for this kind of slab here because best on reinforcement we done already so i'm going to array tool ar for array i'm going to start array from here until here like this okay then we just tie it for 10 10 is too much so we will tie it for 5 uh, let me add one more sec okay then i'm going to select here as a for select all in order to rearrange that you need to ungroup first just ungroup then i'm going to arrange it again array or make it for like this then i'm going to select here all as a ar for array start array from here just make it like this just simply make it like this and try i'm going to make it more nine okay nine is perfect then change it to realistic as you can see here that's how you can create your steel desk reinforcement for section detail in the width okay guys i think it's pretty much for this tutorial thank you guys for joining me from start to finish it's been a while that I haven't uploaded my tutorial because recently I got <laughs> quite busy on my project. Again, I think the tutorial can help you out and welcome back. I'm going to keep uploading my tutorial start from now. Thanks you guys for watching and if you like this tutorial, make sure thumbs up, like and share to your friend and subscribe if you are first time here thank you guys for watching and i see you for another tutorial in revis and have a nice weekend thank you